Welcome back, Zero K fans! This is Shadow Fury 3 with another exhibition match, this time between Art Shaman and Silent Shadow on Frozen Planet! Because there's really no other way to say that map name. Let us begin! Silent Shadow starting out on the west side of the map. He is going for something. Oh, he's going for Jumpbot Factory! Okay! Well, Arch Shaman goes for Jumbot Factory as well, and on this map, given how hilly it is, that's not surprising. Typically, though, players tend to go for Spiders, I find. Sometimes Gunship, but usually Spider. Sometimes Cloaky as well. Yeah, Spider versus Cloaky is a common matchup. Jumpbot and Jumpbot, not so much. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Pyro starting out for Arch Shaman, while Puppy coming in for Silent Shadow. I should point out that, despite the elo difference, Silent Shadow's actually proven to be an extremely, extremely competent player. Really punching above his weight class, given the elo difference, if you just go by that alone. So, I imagine this will be a fairly even and interesting game. And Silent Shadow going with these starting puppies. Like I said before in the last game, I'm not sure about starting puppies because they don't have a reclaim field to work with. So, I mean, they're 150 metal, it's not that expensive. They are decent scouts and they will deal a fair amount of damage, but at the same time, you're not getting the reclaim bonus into more puppies that you would later on in the game. That being said, these two puppies will be able to get rid of the Pyro, stopping any scouting and notifying Silent Shadow what he's up against, and as well as Arch Shaman. He knows probably what he's up against now, seeing the puppies, most likely. Okay, Rymark pointing out that Silent Shadow is really good at certain matchups and really bad at others. That is definitely interesting. That's one way to be, I suppose. However, Silent Shadow is going to be scouting out, knowing what Arch Shaman is doing, where Arch Shaman is, while... Silent Shadow is himself pretty much unscouted. Arch Shaman actually has no idea where Silent Shadow is. He could probably guess based on the direction those puppies came from. But he might not have noticed that. And it looks like he in fact didn't. I think Arch Shaman might be going towards the southwest first to see if Silent Shadow is set up there before going towards the north. He will find Silent Shadow eventually. He probably will figure it out at this point once he sees the pyro. What direction it's coming from. Does damage it to half health, so a good shot there. That being said, more power is being built up, and Silent Shadow and Arch Shaman are actually both pretty even for economy. So any losses right now are fairly significant, and it looks like, given the movement paths, that Silent Shadow will be able to dodge Arch Shaman's puppies. Now, Arch Shaman does not know that Pyro is there. He doesn't know anything about it. And at the same time, Silent Shadow doesn't know the puppies are there. So both players in the dark, though at this point, both of them are going pure on line of sight. So... A little bit odd there, but yeah, neither player has built rarity yet. And the Pyro coming in as the puppies leave. There are enough Lotuses to deal with it, though. A single Lotus on a half-health puppy, that that's a win for the Lotus. No way around it. And more puppies coming in to just to finish this off, and down it goes. The Pyro unable to deal any damage. While well, Arch Shaman with enough puppies to tear apart most of this base, really. It's going to be rather scary for Silent Shadow. He has some Freakers, which will help out a bit. His own puppies as well, which will basically provide a bit of cannon fodder. Just even trade on all of this. Actually, maybe if he won out with one, but still, now the power's gonna go into his death. That was really not the best thing to do. Two puppies will beat a pyro. Even if it's flying through the air at the time, it will just beat it. It'll majestically kill it. However, now there are some wreckages. There's some reclaim fields. These puppies can get a bit of reclaim, not that it's gonna matter in their case, because they're about to die. Once again, another set of puppy trades will occur. Although, once they hit each other, at least. Looks like Silent Shadow... No, it looks like neither player is going to win, but Silent Shadow might lose this if he... Nope, there we go. Neither player won, but Arch Shaman with more puppies in the back coming up from that. Silent Shadow, however, has taken the southwest side of the map. While Arch Shaman has not expanded himself, or he's just starting to, Silent Shadow expanding a lot more aggressively. Meaning he's... Now... Well, he's got to worry about this attack coming in, because that, it was a pretty aggressive expansion, but now the Lotus is up, the puppies are going to have a hard time getting in. And both players are decently well defended, but Arch Shaman with... The, his slight economic disadvantage it might be a problem, but he is expanding it on his own. He should be fine. And the other thing is, the other bases that or other expansion points that Silent Shadow could take, the other metal extraction points, those are pretty well protected by Arch Shaman's puppies at the moment. There's no easy way for Silent Shadow to expand after this point. He can't easily go from here to anywhere else. He is going to lose both of his Freakers as well, thanks to the puppies. The puppies do go down, but so do those Freakers. That was a bit of a loss. More puppies going to come in, will go down to the Lotus, but one of them does manage to get... Well, nope, none of them get through. Never mind. Getting rid of some of the reclaim, however, but more puppies just streaming in one at a time. Not the best way to 
have Force go into battle, by the way. One at a time is typically a poor idea. However, they are streaming in right before the Lotus line. So they're able to group up first, and if they are in large enough group, they will be able to get past the Lotus and actually hit it, destroying it, breaking the defense line, and being able to get through here. However, it looks like Silent Shadow building up several defender... Not defenders, just building up several defender nano frames just to distract the puppies. A very good plan there. He is developing a few... Looks like he might be developing a few of them beyond just a simple nano frame. Yes, he is. He's developing them beyond that. However, that is still a good distraction for the puppies. Because they see that, they'll attack it, and that will just waste a puppy for basically a handful of metal. Like, maybe five metal. To trade off 50. Which is the cost of a puppy, by the way. So yeah, that that is a good thing to do. But it looks like he is investing fully in the defenders on top of that. He wants to actually get rid of the puppies by killing them, which is not a bad long-term strategy. Having them kill themselves on your stuff does mean your stuff is destroyed. Generally not a good idea. However... Silent Shadow still does not have control over... Still doesn't have control over these metal spots. None of these metal spots are under his control. And nor can they be easily. And his southwest base being attacked. He does have a Commander Junior, which is somewhat helpful. Has the beam laser right off the bat. And it looks like... Silent Shadow believes he... Well, okay. He did GG, which... Being that this isn't a tournament match, doesn't make a difference. Because it's not like there's any rule that explicitly says in, ex in regular games that GG means you lose. But, yeah, I'm gonna be careful with that Silent Shadow, just in general. However, Silent Shadow is well defended here in the south. And he actually has managed to secure, for the most part, this area here in the north. Taking that, his center is still a little insecure. He could build another line of defenses around here. I think that would probably do it for the puppies. Although, he has to worry about the hill, that's the one problem. But he can still take the metal spot for the moment. The north side, however, is much more securable. At the same time, Arch Shaman has taken more metal spots. And not a lot of power has been built up for Silent Shadow, that's the one thing. He could overdrive beyond this, he hasn't actually chosen to do so yet. Bit of a problem, but... Not entirely surprised, he does need to defend against the puppies. At this point though, there has been a switch over to the Jack, the Lotus will do nothing against that. But still, more puppies. Enough puppies that... Silent Shadow's approach so far will actually work out decently well. And he is going for another... Attack from the south with the Pyros, two Pyros against the Lotuses should be enough. However, there should be enough puppies as well to deal with them. So it's going to be a matter of timing. It looks like, however, Arch Shaman is going to be intercepted. Silent Shadow not going for the main base. He's going instead for the reinforcement line. The Jack coming in, and this is going to be big. This Jack is going to go down to... Well, okay, the puppies, I guess. The puppies should be able to deal with enough damage to weaken enough for the defenders. But even then... No, it's going to be tough. I think the defenders are going to go down in the process, and the puppies will be able to follow soon after. However, the defenders are able to get rid of most of the puppies. So it doesn't much matter, the Jack does go down, and at the same time, the Pyros haven't yet attacked. They're now about to, and Silent Shadow is taking the north, but still behind economically, as Arch Shaman has taken most of his center expansion, or center mexes. Silent Shadow definitely wants to take these center mexes here. He is actually about to set up a defense line to do so, while at the same time, we have Arch Shaman coming in here with his Pyros, and they will be able to tear this apart. This is perfect timing, the Sumo is being built, no puppies are in the base. All of them have left, all of them getting just chewed up by Silent Shadow's defense as well. The Pyros come in to tear apart everything that has been built. One of them goes down to a Lotus, but the other one is going to retreat in time. Yes, it will, but it has to repair. It has to self-repair in order to get back in. And it's not doing so. Going to try to probably get around line of sight, but jumping does not help with that. And it goes down right on top of a Metal Extractor. Not even setting it on fire, but all the puppies did go down to the defense line. Wasn't even worth going to that because that was obvious. This defense line will chew up Pyros. Sorry, puppies. Pyros are fine, but the, actually, Pyros are going to have a problem too if they came up. Sumo, however. Sumo has enough defense, sorry, enough health. It can just tank it all. 12,500 health will be able to tank all of this. Should be able to push through, but it will need support as it's getting with the puppies afterwards, according to the build queue. Although, Firewalkers at this point wouldn't be a miss, to be honest. Though, admittedly, they are kind of expensive. 1,200 metal. That's like Sumo or Firewalker, not both. So, our Shaman's gone for Sumo. Building up more... Well, getting more and more overdrive behind. Actually, he's not overdriving yet. He's going entirely by number of metal spots. And Freaker getting a Lotus up just to get rid of this metal extractor. In order to take it for himself. That being said, just now... Is he, he hasn't even taken this metal spot in the center, though. He's still pretty skittish about taking these center spots. At this point, it's fairly safe. I mean, the Sumo's coming in, it's going to be a big deal. But not as many puppies are being built right now. Not yet, anyway. Now, now there are puppies. But, for a little while, there was time. Bit of extra metal wouldn't have been a bad idea. 
However, Silent Shadow, possibly focusing too much on defenses, is able to get rid of the center defense. He's able to get rid of the center Lotus. So Arch Shaman has no more defense in the center. And checking radar, Silent Shadow does have radar coverage of his side of the map. Has no idea what Silent Shadow is. Sorry, no idea what Arch Shaman is up to. Silent Shadow only knows his side. And Arch Shaman, same thing. No radar even. He only has knowledge of his side of the map, not of Silent Shadow. So he has some historical knowledge of what went on in the southwest side of the map. But beyond that, he has no idea whatsoever what is going on. Silent Shadow will, however, find that these pi will find the puppies and nearly managed to survive that. The pyro was at full health. It would have lived, but unfortunately it was not. And the Freaker about to take some damage, not go down, reclaim the Lotus, which is a very smart thing to do right now. As more solar collectors are built, perfectly to push this power, push this extra metal into. And a scuttle being built up just to help get rid of the sumo, or at least to help in general. But the sumo is definitely what it needs to get rid of. Silent Shadow, where that sumo has some scuttles, or as a scuttle so far, just one. And a gunship plant switch for Arch Shaman, getting a brawler. Wants to just get rid of basically all his defenses with the brawler, probably. Though admittedly, might be just more for the pyros and puppies. The sumo is going to be able to get rid of the defenses, no problem. The pyros and puppies are going to be a bit of an issue, but then again... The brawler will be no problem for that. It'll have an easy time just tearing that apart. But the scuttle is coming in. It is... No, well, it's cloaked. It's stopped. It's... Well, it's only cloaked when it's... As with most bombs, it's only cloaked when it's... Wait. What is cloak condition? I thought it'd be cloaked when it's moving, but... Or uncloaked when it's moving, but apparently that's not the case. Anyway, Silent Shadow is going to be dealing a bit of damage to the sumo. I mean, Scuttles do deal 6,000... Or 8,000 damage, so we'll be able to half the health of the sumo. Another one in there, we'll be able to kill it. So a good shot there, but the southwest is still doomed. Not much to do there, but hey, good scuttle shot. The pyro's coming in to follow up, and a bunch of puppies are not forthcoming, because like I said, switch over to Brawler, and this is actually not the best strategy. I, I mean, there will be the element of surprise, that is true, but there are a lot of puppies, and we saw something in the tournament, or it wasn't the tournament, sorry, it was games before the tournament, the recent tournament last week. Puppies hit air, or at least puppies hit gunships, although most of them are going to get rid of the sumo, but then again, they're going to eat the sumo and make more puppies. And then the Brawl is going to come in, and they're going to get hit by the puppies, and they're going to die, and the Sumo did not destroy the defenders. So these Brawlers are still going to take a fair amount of damage. They will get rid of the defenders, but one of them is actually it looks like it's about to go down. Still going to take enough damage, it's going to be a problem, and the Pyros and Puppies are going to be able to deal with this. They can hit gunships. Jump bots hit gunships without the Archangels. Doesn't even need to build Archangels, you can get rid of them this way. Archangels are pretty much just for planes. Against gunships, Pyros and Puppies are fine. Incidentally, Sumo has been fully devoured, and not as many puppies as I expected would be built. Well, still, more puppies, free puppies, a lot of the puppies are recouped as a result. And these brawlers, basically in a bad spot right now. The pyros will be able to tear them apart. One of the pyros goes down, and it is good they have splash damage. They can get rid of the pyros very easily. The pyros are not jumping enough to actually get rid of the pyros. All of them go down, those pyros could have killed the brawlers. It would have required some really clever jump micro. It would have required actually getting into the right spot to kill the right brawlers, focus down the weak ones. But still, that would have worked. Just one of the Archon is actually not upgraded as commander either. Neither player upgraded their commander. Both of them, well, Silent Shadow was commander junior, but still. The brawlers, unfortunately, for Silent Shadow, have no opposition in the moment. It's surprising no Ar Archangels have been built. Admittedly, like I said, the Pyros and Puppies are enough, but they aren't in position. These puppies are guarding an area that's already been destroyed. The Freakers here have not bothered her to build it yet. And the rest of the puppies here, not in a bad spot, but still might want to attack the Brawlers. I think Silent Shadow, given his radar coverage, he knows they exist. He knows they're there. He has line of sight of them, actually. So there's no reason why he's going to be what he's doing what he's doing, letting the Brawlers just tear everything apart. He has the units to deal with them. He has the puppies. He has the Pyros. He can tear them apart. Well, the pu puppies particularly. He can turn them apart, but he is building Archangels as well, just for good measure. And I should point out, Black Dawn coming hot on the heels. Another Black Dawn as well, hot on the heels of the Brawlers. So Art Shaman has dedicated to air. And this might lose him the game. However, he is harassing well enough that it could, it could pay off. But we'll see once the puppies get in here. That's going to be a big deal. Once the puppies get here and actually manage to hit the Brawlers, get up close to the Brawlers... If the Brawlers can deal with them quickly enough, it should be no problem, but then again, one of them has just gone down to an Archangel, and the rest of them being distracted by the puppies, as the puppies are able to hit just barely, though, getting away. It looks like 
One of them... No, one of them does not go away. So three of them get away, two of them go down. And that's a fair amount of metal for those puppies. Well, three, that's four puppies right there for each one. So our shaman losing his... Well, getting blacked on. Not going for crows, going for black dons. Not sure what he was thinking there. He could go for a crow, I guess, but that would take about four minutes or so to build. Not a good idea. Black Dawn is coming up, however, and a pair of Black Dawns are coming up. Brawlers are definitely the better option here. Gotta be honest, Black Dawns are not the most accurate unit. And given that Jump Micro could just get away from the Black Dawns without any issue, those Black Dawns are kind of screwed. Especially having wasted all the rockets on that radar tower. Okay, not a bad target overall, but still, Silent Shadow has a decent radar coverage. And those Brawlers now are on cooldown. They will get rid of the Defenders, and then they'll be on cooldown again. And one of them actually takes quite a bit of damage. It's going to go down, I think, to the... No, it's not going to go down to the, to the Archangel, but it might go down to the Pyros. Although those Pyros are over here in the southwest side of the map. They are not in the center where the Black Dons are. The Brawler's over in the north as well, getting repaired up. But even then, I'm not really confident in this strategy. It really comes down to the amount... I mean, more Archangels being built up. Four Archangels being built up, and then going back to standard ground forces... So, one of the Black Dawn's about to go down, and another Black Dawn... This is what I mean by Jump Micro. Nice! Nice jump there by Silent Shadow, right on time. Stops the Black Dawn from doing any dam additional damage to the Archangel. And the Pyros are looking to set up for another attack, which should be fairly effective. And here's the Crow. It will take two and a half minutes. That is probably going to be too long. These Pyros are moving in. The Black Dawn's are trying to defend against this. They... Our Shaman is aware of the Pyros, well aware of the Pyros now, though, once again, no radar. Very surprising. He has still not gotten radar. I don't get that. I, I really don't. It's just, you get radar in this game. It's what you do. It's not that expensive. It doesn't have a massive energy upkeep cost, and you just get a lot of information as a result. Pyros are already, however, jump not on cooldown. They can jump away from the Black Tons. The Black Tons are on cooldown, and nice jump there. I think... All, all but one of the Pyros survives that. However, another Pyro getting killed by the Lotus. Between the Lotus and the Black Dawn, the Pyros will not survive, but they might be able to do a little bit of damage. And the Crow has been spotted. Silent Shadow knows there's a Crow coming. And actually, there's nothing defending us this. Nothing to stop from destroying the gunship plant. Never mind, there's the Black Dawn, which are actually helping in the destruction of the gunship plant. Down to 300 health. Actually, on fire as well. I don't think this is enough to kill it. But it's getting close. Just see, it's at 200 health. Survives at 200 health, so that gunship plant does make it through. But still, Silent Shadow knows what's up. He has enough Archangels to deal with this, and the puppies as well to deal with the Black Dawns. However, more harassment around the map. I mean, Arch Shaman knows how to use his gunships. That is the thing to point out. He does know where to use them, just where to put them. That is working it out. And Wait. Silent Shadow, you just spotted his crow. You, you know what's here. It's, it's right in his base. You know all about it. I don't know why you're asking. You know it's there. You know it's under construction. So, yeah, that's not really a question anymore. However, the Black Dawn, one of them is... Okay, none of them is going to go down, but they are both heavily damaged. Archangel's not in the best position. Probably should get on top of the hill here. Or at least, actually, probably on the back side of the hill, so that the Black... Around here? That way the Black Dawn missile will probably overshoot most of them. If they're on the near side of the hill, the Black Dawn missiles will hit. But since the Black Dawn missiles are coming from this angle, or the Black Dawns are coming from that angle, going down this mountain here in the southwest, that will probably overshoot for the most part. Typically tends to. I mean, more power is being built up. More scuttles as well, which, interesting choice. Possibly for assuming that more ground forces are coming in. Not a bad assumption. No additional sumos, though. And the scuttle, I don't think it hit the crow. Seriously, Silent Shadow, you saw the crow. It's still under construction. But admittedly, that gunship plan. 300 health left. If those pyros get in, actually, the puppies are going to break the defenses, allowing the pyros to get in. The puppies, not quite close enough to the brawlers, but the archangels certainly are. Forcing the brawlers back. If those pyros get in within the next two minutes. Wow, okay, actually, not even pushing very hard in this factory. So yeah, got a two-minute window. That crow is going to go down. And... Arch Shaman taunting about the anti-air, but not realizing there's actually quite a bit of ground forces as well that Silent Shadow has built up. Had a good mix. Made sure that a land switch would not kill him. And it certainly won't. Silent Shadow actually pushing back on land as well. While having enough Archangels to keep this going. And like I said, Pyros are decent anti-air. So it's not the biggest deal. 
to have a lot of them. That will help out in both cases, or at least the anti-gunship. And the Archangel's still in place, still forcing the Brawlers back. The Brawlers trying to go for the kills, but one of them very nearly dies in the process. Pyros from Archaman trying to get rid of Silent Shadows Pyro, sorry, Silent Shadows Archangels. And the Archangels have a chance to move back. However, this does look like Archaman will be able to push forward and break Silent Shadows lines. The Archangels have to retreat. One of them in out of position, getting heavily damaged and probably going to go down as well. At the same time, more Pyros being built up and that Crow has a minute left before it's done. While in the main base we are getting, sorry, main base for Silent Shadow. He's finally taking this Metal Extractor in the center. Or further to the center. The Archangels are in place. The Puppies and Pyros are in place as well. But the Crow is just about done. 30 seconds away. That... Oh, that was so close. That Gunship Plant was very nearly destroyed. But not quite. If it had been, I think that would have been game. I think Archaman would have called it then. At this point, though, Silent Shadow does have the anti-air he needs. Or at least he has anti-air. He has Puppies and Pyros as well for the anti-ground. However, more Archangels out of position do jump out of the way. But the Pyros, of course, can jump right after them. And they do that exactly. The Archangels, however, have enough health that they should be fine. And Pyro support from Silent Shadow comes in to tear apart Arc Shamans. However, these Archangels are pretty much dead. Or maybe not. No, they should actually survive the fire. They'll live. The Crow, however, is alive. It is up. And another one actually on its heels, though. It's not going to do much. But yeah, that one Crow being repaired... Yeah, it is up. It's going to be able to deal a fair amount of damage once it comes in, but these Archangels, I should point out, they do deal 90 damage a second each. Sorry, that's between the two of them. They actually deal about 300 damage a second each. So that's 1,500 damage a second for the lot, and 1,750 health. That's going to last, i say, about 12 seconds. If I'm doing my math right. Yeah, a little under 12 seconds. And that's not counting the Pyros, that's not counting the Puppies, that's just the Archangels. Not even the Defenders either. That's just the Archangels. So this Crow here has 12 seconds to live once it gets in the base. Once these are, If it gets these Archangels, if the Archangels are in position. That's the important thing. They need to be in position, and they are not. The Crow is flying in the wrong way. Silent Shadow does know this. No, he doesn't. His radar has been destroyed. He doesn't know when it's coming in, where it's coming in from. But he does know now. And that is... That is going to be interesting. However, one of the Archangels going... Two of the Archangels going down. These Archangels are well out of position. Why are they so out of position? I do not know. Stinger being built up, but that is the wrong thing to use. And these puppies are going to do what they can. Actually dealing a fair amount of damage to the Crow as the Crow bombs out everything. Goes down to have health, but at the same time... Not actually destroying a whole lot. Destroying a Solar Collector or two, and that's about it. And his D-Gun's going to be on reload for another... Well... Another 10 seconds or so from the looks of it. However... Those Archangels, why are they not moving in? They are what he needs. They're exactly what he needs. Why is he not moving in? Silent Shadow, you can take this. Okay, there it goes. The crow, the Archangels moving in as the Jump Jet Factory goes down. There are enough Freakers that's not going to be the biggest deal. I can rebuild from here. And a Cobra as well for additional anti-air. The crow, however, does deal enough damage. And Silent Shadow goes down, losing this match. But that was close. That Gunship Plan, if he had managed to kill that, that would have, like, if he had sent in another force to finish it off, Taken out the crow and would have probably won it right there, or at least given Arch Shaman a hard time. However, not the case, so well done, Arch Shaman. Although, admittedly, that feels kind of. Well, I don't know. Anyway, Silent Shadow does lose. He was in a pretty even spot for the most part, but then near the end with the gunship plant. Not sure if he quite realizes that puppies and pyros do a wonderful job against air, against gunships at least. Not against planes, like I said. Planes are the province of Archangels when it comes to the gunship. Or sorry, when it comes to the jump jet factory. But gunships? Nah, everything hits gunships. Actually, even diving bombers get hit by puppies pretty well. Anyway, I will have one last game for you guys in a moment. Once again, back to Rymark, because it is Rymark night tonight, apparently. Steel Blue versus Rymark on Vitra. That will be up in just a moment or two, so stay tuned. <laughs> 